Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockheiner. Today's story is GANCAP is no ransom worm, at least yet. Back in May, during the time period I was traveling and didn't release videos, researchers found a new piece of uh, ransomware called GANDCAB. And this piece of ransomware has continued to evolve over time. The people behind it are continually adding things and updating this ransomware quite a bit. Back when it came out, it primarily spread through malicious emails that looked like they had to do with your e-commerce orders. And the email might have a VB script or a zip attached and on top of that, the malware was also being distributed or downloaded from actual legitimate websites that were hijacked due to different types of web application vulnerabilities. In any case, over the past few days, a number of researchers have pointed out a new variant of GANCAB, which they're calling V4 or V4.1. The variant is pretty much the same old ransomware with a few changes. They've changed their encryption protocol. They've changed the extension they encrypt files with. They used to be crab with a C, now it's crab with a K. But there's also some rumors of alleged SMB spreading mechanisms. You probably remember WannaCry, the first big ransomware that used a SMB or server message block vulnerability to automatically spread in your network. A number of people have claimed that the latest version of GANCAB can use the similar type of SMB spreader mechanism. That said, this video is to tell you that it does not seem to be the case. While some researchers have noticed some code uh, referencing a module called uh, Network Fudger, using a little more inappropriate language, uh, it doesn't appear that that particular network fudger line does anything specific yet. It doesn't seem like there's any sort of SMB spreader attached to GANCRAB yet. Nonetheless, I thought I'd use this video to talk about the latest updates to this widespread ransomware. It really has been continuing to spread since May, and it's something you want to look out for. The good news is the same protections you use for ransomware work here. First of all, obviously backup. If you have a backup, you never have to worry about paying the ransom. On top of that, use advanced malware protection like WatchGuard's APT blocker to catch new malware without having to rely on old signatures. And you can use products like WatchGuard's threat detection response, which often can prevent ransomware from encrypting files if you do accidentally run it on your computer. As always, if you want more details about GANCRAB 4.0, be sure to check the reference section in the blog post associated with this video. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.